Devil species, devil species, unknown misery, unknown misery, cryptic, cryptic. You roll with cheeky rappers now, we rebuke them. You roll with picky lovers. Hello everybody, Katie Lobiner here. Today I'm going to make MTS Way No Bake Protein Bars. So here we go. Probably make it with chocolate or vanilla, but today I'm gonna do chocolate. You're gonna start out with eight scoops of protein powder. Count. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, a cup of oats. These are just quick cook oats. Add that into there. Um, peanut butter, I'm going to do it by weight. It takes a third of a cup of peanut butter, but Mark was smart and multiplied uh, and did some math and yeah, figured out how much. So, so how many grams is that? 80, 85 grams of peanut butter. It's actually 84.8. Five, it's five tablespoons and one teaspoon worth of peanut butter. Okay, if you say so. It calls for a third of a cup of peanut butter. Yeah. So I did the weight because I figured that'd be easier than trying to scoop out peanut butter. And so... Scale. That's on ounces. So, no one else is eating us but us, so I'm gonna use my finger. <laughs> I'm eating it. Did you wash your hands at least? No, I scratched my butt. Very nice, very nice set of kit in this video. It belongs on our channel. <laughs> okay, I did 91, but 285 for the sake of it. We're gonna just lose all of our gains. That's six grams of extra peanut butter. You can add that into the macros, honey. All right, I should probably get a spoon. Uh, one that it's not gonna stick to. This is a very sticky recipe because we're using honey. So next is three tablespoons of honey. You could probably eyeball it. Why, why don't you do that? Yes. Why do you think I have the coconut spray out? Oh. Just so you guys know what I'm wearing today. No, just because you can't stand not being in that video. I'm gone. And also, remember, I wanted to tell you all, while she's measuring the honey, 5% of all sales of MTS Nutrition Way for the month of June 2013, in case you're watching this later on, goes towards finding a cure for cystic fibrosis. So, Just wanted to throw that in there. So buy lots of MTS Way. And be sure to use eight scoops in your bar. Use it up quick. Buy more and donate. Okay. And then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of this coconut milk that I already measured out so that you don't have to watch it. And you can use regular milk, almond milk, whatever yeah, milk you whatever. want. We like coconut milk. Um, I love the MCTs. Right. I love that. Yeah, I love the taste. It adds a nice coconutty taste. Um, I think last time I made these I might have had to add a little bit extra milk to get the consistency to right. Um, and that's what it's looking like right now. You kind of just kind of start mixing it up and if you don't have enough liquid, add a little more. It'll be pretty sticky, so yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add more. This is gonna take some time to mix, so you might wanna see me back in a minute. We can always cut. Yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, add a couple splashes. A couple splashes. <laughs> we should have measured that out for video. The couple splashes, that looked to me like literally two tablespoons, maybe, maybe two tablespoons of liquid she added in. I mean, then that probably did it. You just have to keep mixing it until it doesn't look powdery and it more looks like a really sticky dough. So what we're going to do in the section and below in the description is we're going to put, what is it, two cups total you had there? What? Of coconut milk? Three, quarter, three quarters. Three quarters of a cup yeah. or to texture. Yeah. Okay, that's the thing. You so, gotta kind of judge it. Cooking, you gotta judge it because remember, when you bake, we're not baking here, but the humidity also affects it. Do me right. make eggs and see how different they come out based on the barometric pressure. So our macros that we're gonna figure out, we're just gonna use three quarters cup of coconut milk, and if you add a tablespoon or two, you'll live, and you can add that into your macros. Just add it to the total and then divide it by however many bars it makes. That's okay. So let's look at the consistency here. Can you see this? It's, it's a sticky, big... Here, let me, let me go ahead and let me zoom and in. And it's really like... Katie, show me your balls. Hold on, I'm going to zoom in. It's, it's very thick. 
Look like, at this. I can barely scoop it. Look at this quality of this camera. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. that's beautiful. So that looks like. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do? We're gonna put it on saran wrap. Saran wrap, guys. Um, um, that would be also known as plastic wrap, clean wrap. For those of you who realize, we got a lot of Australians in here eating their Tim Tams. What's a Tim Tam? You don't know what a Tim Tam is? I don't think it's like a candy or something, right? Eating their Vegemite? I won't eat Vegemite. Have okay. you ever tried it? I saw it and I smelled it. And I so she has a it. cutting board and she's really putting saran board. wrap on it. Okay. But so I'm just okay. going to scoop some on. Okay, oh, you well. know what I did? I forgot to do. I'm sorry. Okay. So it's not super sticky. Let's just put some. So you know how you flour. When you're making pizza yeah, dough, Yeah, right? we're making dough. So just Smack. like, put some oatmeal down. Kinda, if you wanna like scoop them all out first and figure out how many you wanna make, you can do that, but I'm just gonna judge how big. Now guys, I didn't believe it when I first tried this. It looks like a giant. <laughs> it looks like, yeah, a giant oatmeal covered turd. <laughs> Pretty much. And then you smack it down, now. Okay, so that's probably enough oatmeal. And then I just stick it in there. And you shape it however you want. Now, how do you figure out how big these are? Do you measure them or? I'm just looking at them and then at the end, I'll, oh, you can measure them, judge by how big you think you want it, and then at the end, figure out how many, you know, if you have six of them, divide the total macros by six and that's how much each one is. Now, here's another idea, Katie. Let me just bring this up to y'all. Okay. What you can do is you saw the, the dough ball all stuck together, take it out of that bowl weigh and it. weigh it. Yeah and then divide it by how big right. you want it to be. Right, the only problem is, is like, by the time I'm done with this, my fingers are gonna be covered in this stuff. So and you're it's gonna so romantic to lick it off. Lose some of it. But then you do this, make a little punch bar. I stick in a little Tupperware in the fridge, all of them in my little Tupperware, let it refrigerate for a few hours. It'll be, it won't be this let, let, Let's Let's say we refrigerate for two hours. It'll be stiff. We will. <laughs> and you wanna hold it? <laughs> But we will go ahead, this is a BBC, we will go ahead and we will film us taking it out when I pull it out of the fridge, I pull it out. It'll be nice and cold. I'll pull it out and we will go ahead and we will go ahead and we will go ahead and, ah. and, uh, and show you what's going on. Alright? Yeah. Alright y'all, here here's how they look. All nice, wrapped made up. Made about seven of them. Katie's they're hands. Somewhat, this is my, my hands look like. That. Yeah, so there's, there's seven 50. of them. You got to figure there's about 30 grams of protein each, give or take, and whatever else we figure the macros to be. So we'll. Uh, and the easiest way to do this, what we didn't film it, was I put a ball of it on the saran wrap and Mark rolled it up so I didn't have to wash my hands every single time because it's like caked on there. So it's a very romantic thing to do with your loved one or significant yes, other. Okay. All right. All right, just another night at the Lowbliner household. There's Katie and Preston. The kids practicing soccer. You go get it, Katie. Because they're. Cammie, show us that dribble it up in your foot and kick it trick. And do a head one. Do a head one. Okay, head. All right, that was way to attack it with your head. There goes Thomas getting his ball. Oh. Oh, you missed it. Oh, it's okay. Now, while Cammie's perfecting that good move. While Cammy's perfecting that, that's what we've all been waiting for. Oh, oh, oh. The bar. <laughs> so. Uh, hi. Hi, everybody. I'm utilizing tripod Watch. technology. Watch. Here's the bar. Here's how it looks. Like a piece of dookie. <laughs> Pretty much. But, let's taste it. Mmm. Portable, on the go. Can't beat it. MTSY. These are awesome. Machine muscle approved. These MTS so Nutrition good. Way. Mommy made them. Want a bite? Ah. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Come here. Give me. Take a bite of this chocolate bar. Look in the camera. Cammy, what does it look like? Go look at your around. Well. Oh, there you go. Ready? Take a bite. Go. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it is. It's refrigerated. Is that good? Is that good, Cammy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's a, a chocolate, chocolate, it's a protein bar. bar. Uh huh. Nice kick, Cammy. Well, anyway, regardless. Ball towards me. It's fantastic. Katie, thank you for making these, man. That's You're great. All right. Healthy eating protein bars, homemade, machine, militia, MTS nutrition weight protein bars. They're not a game. Nah. Can I have a bite? Watch it. Oh.
Katie wants a bite. Hold on. Hold on. Wow. Excellent. All right. Take a bite. You all slimed it up. That wasn't me. That was the kids. No, it's for you, Dad. Watch and learn, Mommy. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we recruit them. We ain't no blind sheep. So we teach for the movement. Look out. Look out for one another. Look in. Look